What do you like about the fight you guys have shown to string together some wins here? Um, I think our overall work ethic. I think we're working more as a unit. Um, I think the third wasn't that good of us. I think we let them in the game a little bit, gave them too many chances, uh, too many turnovers. But I like our first two periods. We were forechecking hard and. Um, yeah, we had some good looks. Could have scored or should have scored more than two, but uh, their goalie kept them in the game. But, yeah, we got the win. What was your attitude coming into this game? It looks like you came in here right from the start to outwork them. Yeah, I think uh, the game yesterday, we weren't too happy about uh, our four-check. We couldn't get the LA stuck, so we talked about being better today, um, which I think we did. It looked like just had a great effort in the neutral zone to clog them up. Yeah, um, we're just trying to... Get the puck ba uh, back as, as fast as po possible. Uh, we're always trying to play aggressive when we can, and when we cannot, we try to set up in our one with three. But um, yeah. Were you, were you surprised maybe how the Ducks were kind of back a little bit on, and their efforts seemed to be? Uh, no, I mean uh, <laughs> everyone is a competitor and everyone wants to win, so I wasn't surprised at all. They got a, a lot of good players, so um, yeah, we got a <clears throat> we um, how do you say? UJT. We we survived today, but we yeah, we got to be better for full sixty. Sorry, UJT and Quinn have obviously really dominated this weekend. Just what's the connection like with you, the three of you, at the moment? Ah, uh, it's good. I mean, we we play fast, we play skilled, uh, uh, we can make plays. So whenever someone's open, you find find the tape and um, you skate to the area to get the puck uh, when they have it. So Quinn's now <clears throat> sixty assists in consecutive season. Just what kind of evolution have you seen in terms of his offensive game? And it feels like he's really one of the elite puck-moving defensemen in this league now. De definitely. Uh, I mean, uh, his number shows it, but uh, he has made plays all over the ice. Uh, and then, I mean, this year he's been taking more of a, um, I don't want to say leadership role, but just like being more, uh, he's just been playing a lot better, playing a lot on PK, and uh, yeah, he... He's good. We're really on the front foot from the start of the game. Just how would you describe tonight's performance? Yeah, I think uh, I think that's very accurate. You know, we put a lot of pucks to the net, and uh, you know, I think that was one of the reasons we had success tonight. You know, we were kind of we were pretty relentless from the get-go. How big was the D tonight in helping out? Awesome. Yeah, I mean, it's it's paramount in games like this. You know, so back to back. You know, I thought they were really solid. What was the attitude coming into this game? To look like you really just outworked them all over the ice. Yeah, I think that's got to be our mo. You know, just keep our feet moving, um, hard on pucks. You know, supporting each other. Um, you know, give credit. You saw it all night. Like the guys were working for each other, and I think uh, it was it was great to see. And at, at times it looked like there were very few times you really had you under a lot of pressure, but you came through all, you know, every time. Yeah, you know, we just gonna make a couple saves here and there, and uh, you know, the offense takes care of the rest typically. With the offense specifically, Quinn, he hit 60 assists for the season tonight with a couple more. Just what kind of growth have you seen, the confidence in his offensive game yeah, throughout I mean, the season? Yeah, I've only been with him for one year, but um, yeah, it's, I mean, obviously his progression, you know, to be a more mature, you know, player, it's, it's pretty evident, you know, in the plays that he's making. You know, he's very confident out there and, um, you know, we just when he when he's on the ice, uh, you know, we, we know that we have a good chance to put the puck in. Puck drop tonight. From the start. Yeah, better response than the uh, the LA game. I thought um, a lot of possession time. Um, thought, I thought the structure we were good. I, I'd like to see a little bit more net front. If I had to be picky offensively, I thought we uh, we didn't get it to the net enough. Six shots through two periods last night. Seventeen total. Seventeen in the first period tonight. Is that something you stressed going in? Yeah, I mean, we just you know we just needed to to, to to battle a little harder for pucks, and I thought we had better body 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 position. You know, this game is about body position and being uh, inside. I thought we were a little bit better on that tonight. Feel bad for Delio with that one. Kind of yeah, it was cool, but you know, it was not, you know, you always when you know it gets near the end of the game, you always root for the goalie to get a shutout. So mm -hmm. tough luck on that one. He's never had one. Um, yeah. Uh, Pedersen again on the power play, kind of the same spot. Would you like to see him shoot even more? <clears throat> yeah, he's, a bit, he's he's getting a little bit lower. Teams are taking him, you know, when he's high, taking that one timer away. So we've been kind of working around the other side and get, getting it to him when he's got a little bit lower. I mean, he's, I mean, that's two shots. Those are deadly shots. I mean, those are tough. To, Gibson's a great goalie, and uh, you know that that short side shot was incredible. 
Quinn Hughes has now hit 60 assists yeah. in consecutive seasons, something that hasn't been done since Ray Bork and Paul Coffey. Is, is he asserted himself into one of the truly elite <clears throat> offensive defensemen in this game? Absolutely. It, it, it's... For, for me, obviously, the, uh, the the assists and what he's doing, I, I think he's just been a ter- you know, a terrific leader. I've been here about six, seven weeks, and I, I thought he's been probably one of our best when it comes to vocal and, and just, you know, I, I haven't really seen a bad game out of him. You know, he's very consistent. You know, the, obviously the assists are great, and his, his uh, breakouts are incredible. That's why the coffees of the world and Nita Myers and Bork, they're great breakout guys. Um, and he's in that, pe- he's starting to, he's, you know, he's climbing that ladder. You know, I don't want to give it to him yet, but he's climbing that ladder. When you look at the effort the team's been making, you know, winning a lot of games lately and then coming out really hard tonight after last night, are you pleased with what you're seeing? Yeah, I, I like responses. You know, you're never going to play your always great. And uh, I think when you, uh, you have a, a dud or you don't, play well um, you always look for players that have responses and I saw some good responses from some players that you know weren't engaged last night so that's what you know that's what the game's all about you know is being able to respond uh, if things don't go your way